Hello, and welcome to a very special edition of Take 5 with Robert Burrell, coming to you above ground for a change, which is nice. I'm actually live at the Acme Comedy Company studios uh, for this, and you can see me here all this week featuring for the hilarious Dean Edwards. Go to acmecomedycompany.com for tickets, or you can watch from the comfort of your own home on Zoom. I'll tell you more about that later, uh, but let's get to the news. Tyler Perry is now a billionaire, according to a new report by Forbes magazine, which means he can now afford to give everyone their money back for Boo to a Medea Halloween. The jokes are still awful. Uh, the Biden-Harris campaign is now selling virtual signs on the popular Nintendo game Animal Crossing. This is in contrast to the Democrat strategy in 2016 when the Hillary signs were virtually nowhere. Pause for silence. Representative Joe Kennedy III has become the first member of his family to lose an election in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, the lost election, however, is expected to increase his life expectancy by 10 years. So it's a silver lining to that. Uh, the Biden campaign has reported raising a record $365 million in the month of August. Uh, asked where they got it, they said most of it came from Tyler Perry's couch. That's a callback. Billionaire. Carol Baskin from the hit Netflix show Tiger King, uh, has joined the new cast of Dancing with the Stars for their upcoming season. No word yet on to who her dance partner will be, but he is expected to go missing. Asked, asked about his comfort level uh, of playing during the pandemic, Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins said... If I die, I die. To which Vikings fans responded, sounds good. Uh, it doesn't seem like Cousins is taking the virus too seriously, but I think that's uh, just because he's jealous of how much better the virus is at spotting open receivers. I should be ending with that one, but I'm not. Uh, do... Due to COVID restrictions, the Philadelphia Eagles fans, second NFL joke of the show, will not be allowed to attend uh, at least the first few games of the upcoming season in person. But for $100, uh, they can get their cardboard face in the stands, or for $300, uh, they can get a beer can filled with their piss thrown at the opposing team's bus. Uh, it's not nearly as rewarding as doing it yourself, but we're all making sacrifices uh, during these trying times, including the Eagles fans. A new Mississippi State flag design was chosen two months after the Confederate battle emblem was removed. Uh, the winner of the competition was an image of a magnolia flower, which is sweet and uh, barely beat out the runner-up image of a pregnant teenager changing the tire on her moped. I felt like with a different delivery that would have been even funnier. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, if I die, I die. That's my... I'm, I'm the Kirk Cousins of comedy. If I die, I die. I uh, deserve it. After Trump's law and order, this is the last one. Uh, you're welcome. After Trump's law and order visit to Kenosha, Wisconsin, uh, opponent Joe Biden has said that he plans to visit there tomorrow with the goal of helping heal, uh, which coincidentally is what all his advisors tell him when he sets sight on a new woman, woman, fuck, a new woman for the first time, heal. Heal, Joe. He, you know, I nearly got through all of those without messing up. Uh, but like I said, uh, if I die, I die. It's been a while since I've done these. All right. The jokes uh, at Acme will be better, which, again, you can see me all this week featuring for Dean Edwards. Thanks for watching. Come out to live comedy or catch the show on Zoom. Thanks. Hello. Uh, still me. Uh, thanks for hopefully 
enjoying the first take five that I've done in too long. I think it shows. Uh, but I have more polished material that you can see here at Acme Comedy Company Live this week when I feature for the very funny headliner, Dean Edwards. You can come check out the show in person or, important reminder here, you can still enjoy quality stand-up comedy from the comfort of your own home by watching the show on Zoom. And we have multiple angles. It's not just this angle, which I'm sure is probably flattering for me, but we also have a better angle over here. We got this option. Uh, it's uh, my good side, this angle. And then we have the uh, camera over here, which is uh, my better side, uh, egomaniac. Anyway, uh, you can buy tickets on Zoom the same way you would purchase them online to come to a live show. It's very simple. And when you're at home, uh, only you can cut you off uh, from drinking, which we know you won't. Uh, hopefully, you'll enjoy the show. Thanks for watching.